and just coming in mid-March, uh, it'll be a year since the country was declared an emergency uh, to the pandemic of COVID-19. And things change for all of us. And, and we went through very difficult times. Uh, the hospital was in total stress, uh, closing operating rooms, limited access to family members, uh, people sick in the hospital will not be able to see their family members in the final days. Uh, and a lot of things happened. We didn't have treatments. We didn't have a lot of things. We can help people in many ways. It, right from the first few months, uh, it, it, it really was a very, very intense, uh, very stressful situation. We didn't know the, the exposures the, the nurses could have. And we did have several nurses and doctors that got the infection, so exposing themselves. But the commitment was always very strong. Uh, they continued to serve the patients. Over the first few months, the knowledge and understanding of the care really improved significantly. The commitment from the nurses, particularly, but the doctors as well, and intensivists, the pulmonary program, and the, the surgeons and, and the ORs, everything continued to uh, function to the best possible to serve not only the COVID patients, but also the non-COVID patients. Uh, so the, the response for Holy Cross to this has been something really beautiful to see how uh, people risk their lives and continue to commit. The healthcare heroes, which is the, the nurses, the doctors, uh, the EVS, um, the dietary, every single person that comes to the hospital every day is now regarded as a healthcare hero, which is truly of what they are. They're the true heroes of this, uh, this pandemic. And uh, I'm so fortunate to work along their side and to help lead this organization through this pandemic. You know, God willing, there won't be another one, but whatever comes our way of a pandemic, uh, whether it's COVID or something else, uh, or a hurricane, you know, Holy Cross is gonna be here and standing tall and ready to serve the community. Over the last few months, we had uh, effective treatments that were uh, able to improve the situation, uh, monoclonal antibodies, uh, antiviral drugs, uh, support with uh, anti-inflammatory medications, improvement in management, day-to-day uh, -day operations. Uh, we did much better with the patients and we were able to, to send home people uh, in much better status than we did the first few months. Now, as we enter in March of 2021, a year after the COVID pandemic first hit, our kind of hats are changing, right? As the, the cases in Broward County continue to decline in our testing for COVID, uh, also trails. Uh, we're kind of refocusing and reshifting our efforts and our resources to serve the community. We now have a vaccination center. So as long as we're getting our shipments from the state, you know, we put a new hat on to, uh, to serving the community, uh, to making sure that people who come in here uh, from our colleagues that they're, they're safe, they're protected, and then that of the community. So we're, we're ready, we're prepared to respond uh, and vaccinate as long as this uh, horrific, horrific virus is still around to really inoculate and uh, to serve our community. And we'll be here for another 65 years as well doing that, just that, that function to serve our community. Thank you.